clearly the best father in the world, at least for this year. Uh, we've got a man in Germany who did basically whatever it took to make his son feel comfortable with the way that he was. Now, this, is, this originally was in West Berlin, um, and so this is Nils Pickert. And so his son was interested in dressing in a non-traditional way. It's a very young boy, but he decided that he didn't want to wear male clothing. He wanted to wear dresses, which was fine in West Berlin. But when they moved to a much more traditional South German village, uh, the, the town had a problem with it. And so he decided to help his son out by also dressing in skirts and dresses. And what do you think about Nils Pickert? I think it's such a sweet story, especially yeah. when you look at pictures like that. And I know that some people are going to argue that, look, are you really going to allow your son to wear dresses and skirts when you know he's going to get ridiculed? I think children know from a very early age, you know, what their sexuality, maybe not necessarily their sexuality, but there's a reason why uh, some kids, some boys want to play with Barbies as opposed to Legos. You know, they start forming their identity, and do you really want to fight against that, or do you want to embrace that as a parent? Yeah. And of course, I think it's up to the parent, but I love that this particular parent wanted to embrace it. It's just the sweetest story, in my opinion. Yeah. I'm sure others will disagree. Even at the risk of embarrassing himself. Right, exactly. Yeah. The fact that he is joining his son in that type of apparel makes me happy. But another thing to also keep in mind is, can you imagine what it was like for women when they didn't want to wear dresses anymore and they wanted to wear pants, when they wanted to wear trousers? I'm sure <laughs> they got a tremendous amount of ridicule for that. So are we kind of shifting the culture for males slowly but surely so guys start <laughs> wearing dresses? Probably not. It might be a while before Cenk wears a dress in the show. <laughs> oh my God, um, Cenk in a dress, not, but, a, not a pretty picture. <laughs> yeah, so we've got a couple more quotes that I think will definitely put you on his side. Uh, so he says originally, I didn't want to talk my son into not wearing dresses and skirts. He didn't make friends in doing that in Berlin already. And after a lot of contemplation, I had only one option left, to broaden my shoulders for my little buddy and dress in a skirt myself. Aww. Aww, I just want to hug him. Um, and he gives an update so that you know how it's actually doing for the kid now that he's been dressing openly in this village. He says, and what's the little guy doing by now? He's painting his fingernails. He thinks it looks pretty on my nails too. He's simply smiling when other boys, and it's nearly always boys, want to make fun of him. He says, you only don't dare to wear skirts and dresses because your dads don't dare to either. That's how broad his own shoulders have become by now, and all thanks to daddy in a skirt. Aww. Aww. An endearing story from it the Young Turks. It definitely is. That was a very sweet story. It makes me, it warms my heart. I wish we had more people on the planet like that that weren't so afraid of change and mm. afraid of something that's unconventional.